guys, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I'm gonna be working on a coffee bar sign with the holidays quickly approaching. I know I'm gonna to wanna to create a coffee bar or a drink station before Thanksgiving. So I thought I would go ahead and get a jump start on that and make a new sign. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing in this video. Let's get started. So I started with this round wooden sign that I had actually picked up at Target in the dollar spot quite a while back, but a project like this could certainly be adapted to any shape and size of sign that a person wants. It's just what I chose to use for this particular project. And I started by painting it white, but I want it to have a rustic kind of farmhouse look. So I left some of the wood color showing through like you can see here and then I'm going to go back over it with some black and add in just a little bit of black around the edges and along the slats and just in different areas just to give it a little bit more of that rustic look. And if I felt like I got a little too much of the black paint in certain areas of the sign, I just went back over it with a little bit of the white paint to tone it down just a little bit. When I was happy with how the sign looked, I set it aside and got out some turquoise acrylic paint. I had purchased these wood ornaments or shape cutouts at Dollar Tree and they look like coffee mugs or hot chocolate, whichever way you want to use them. And I had a couple of different ideas on how I might want to use them on my sign. The first idea that I had was paint it turquoise and then paint the top white for the foam and then just kind of give it that same rustic look with some black paint. The other idea that I have you will see later in the video and that's the one I ultimately ended up using but I thought I'd go ahead and share this idea as well just in case you want a little more color on your sign or just for a different idea on how you could use these. I think there's so many fun ways to use these wood cutouts and they're certainly inexpensive. I was able to find the hot chocolate or coffee mugs as well as some pumpkins and for the Christmas season I was able to get Christmas trees, the vintage truck, some snowflakes. I think they're just a lot of fun. There's so many ways you can use them. You can paint them, you can decoupage them, you can stain them or you can leave them natural if you like that look as well and i chose to make a vinyl decal for the words on my sign and i just picked out a pretty font and cut it to the size that i needed using my silhouette but i'm curious i've been kind of debating on adding a cricket to my craft room i have one that is extremely old and i haven't used it in quite some time but i know they've definitely upgraded them a lot so i'm just curious what your opinion is on the cricket machines versus silhouette or if you think they both have a place in the craft room, I would love to know in the comments. After I was done weeding out all of the little bits and pieces that I do not want to end up on my sign, I just used some clear transfer tape to get them ready to transfer to my sign and I bought this transfer tape it's kind of a big roll off of Amazon and I've been really happy with it so if you're looking for something like that I will have it linked in the description below if you'd like to look into it further mm -hmm. 
after I had my decals ready to go, I placed them on my sign and I chose to place them at an angle. I thought it would just add that extra fun touch to my sign. I quickly realized when I was peeling the transfer tape back that the paint wasn't quite as dry as I thought it was. So it made it a little difficult to get it off of the transfer tape because it just wasn't wanting to stick quite as well as it would have if I had waited the proper amount of time. I was able to get it off eventually and I just used a little bit of Mod Podge to fix my mistake, but it ended up looking just fine in the end. So I had mentioned I had a couple of different ideas on how I might want to use the wood cutout on my sign. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to use that turquoise color or if I wanted to go with a simple black and white theme. So I traced the wood cutout on the back of some black and white check scrapbook paper and cut that out. I painted the top of the wood ornament white and then I attached the paper cutout to the little wood ornament using Mod Podge. To give it a little more definition and dress it up a little bit further, I just went around all the edges with some black acrylic paint and I think it just adds so much more to this little coffee mug accent that I am going to be putting on my sign. To attach my coffee mug to my sign, I just used a little bit of hot glue to secure it in place. And because it was intended to be an ornament, it does have the little hole cut out for a hanger. And I wanted to hide that, so I just used some jute twine and tied a simple single loop bow and then attached it with a little bit of hot glue as well. And I think this is going to be a really fun addition to my coffee bar for the holidays. I'm really happy with how this sign turned out. I think it's going to add a really fun touch to my coffee station for the upcoming holidays, which I will be working on soon. If you'd like to see a video about that, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, or comment to let me know. I'd really appreciate it and it helps my channel out. If you're new here, I would love it if you hit subscribe and hung around. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.